हेलो एवरी वन रम्या असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट फ्रम रोहिणी कॉलेज आफ् इंजीनियरी अंड टेक्नजी सबजेक्ट को ओईसी सेवन फाइव फोर यूनिट थ्री टापिक डेफिब्रिलेटर्स अबजेक्टिव टू लर्न अबउट द कॉन्सेप्ट आफ डेफिब्रिलेटर्स एंड इट्स वे फॉर्म डेफिब्रिलेटर इट इस एन एलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवैस दट क्रियेट्स ए सस्टेंड मयोकॉडियम डीपोलेशन ऑफ ए पेशेंट हार्ट इन आर्डर टू स्टॉप वेन्ट्रिकुलर फिब्रिलेशन और आर्ट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डेलीवरिंग ए थेरापेटिक डोस ऑफ एलेक्ट्रिकल करंट टू द हार्ट विथ ए डिवैस कॉल ए डेफिब्रिलेटर इट इस एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर अडमिस्ट्रेटिंग द एलेक्ट्रिक शाक इज कॉल एस डेफिब्रिलेटर फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फिब्रिलेशन इट इस एन एक्ट और प्रोसेस ऑफ forming fibers or fibrillus it is a rapid irregular and unsynchronized contraction of muscle fibers it is an important occurrence is with regard to the heart there are two major classes of cardiac fibrillation first one is arterial fibrillation that means it is an irregular and uncoordinated co- contraction of the cardiac muscle of artery that means During the arterial fibrillation, the ventricles can function normally, but arterial is a fibrillation condition. Due to arterial fibrillation, most of the blood flow into the ventricles before the arterial contraction. Next one is ventricular fibrillation. It is an irregular and uncoordinated contraction of the cardiac muscles of ventricles. It is a common cause of cardiac arrest and is usually fatal if not reversed by defibrillation. That means it is the most frequently encountered problem in patient monitoring system. The next one is different types of defibrillations based on the electrode placement the defibrillators are classified into two types they are internal defibrillator external defibrillator and the ba- and then based on the nature of applied voltage the defibrillator can be classified into six types there is a ac defibrillator dc defibrillator synchronized dc defibrillator square pulse defibrillator double square pulse defibrillator bifacing defibrillator first we are going to see the internal defibrillator that means it is used during the open heart surgery it is a large spoon shaped electrodes with insulator handles are used next one is external defibrillator it is used on the heart using a paddle shaped electrodes next one is ac defibrillator it is the easiest and simplest type of defibrillator it is constructed in such a way that appropriate voltage for external and internal defibrillations that ranges from 250 volt to 750 volt for external defibrillation and the voltages are in the range from 60 volt to 250 volt for internal re- defibrillation the circuit diagram of ac defibrillator is shown below that means it consists of a step up transform with various tappings on the secondary storage that means the timing circuit is a simple capacitor and resistor network here the duration of the counter shock may vary from 0.1 second to 1 second depending upon the voltage to be applied with the frequency range of 50 hertz large currents are required in external defibrillation for producing uniform and simultaneous contraction of the heart muscle fibers The next one is DC defibrillators. It would not produce undesirable side effects like AC defibrillator. At the same time, DC defibrillators produces normal heartbeat effectively. That means a variable auto transformer T1 forms the primary of a high voltage transformer T2. Output voltage of the transformer T2 is rectified by a diode rectifier and also it is connected to a vacuum type high voltage change over switch during the delivery of shock to the patient a push button switch mounted on the handle of the electrode is operated The next one is synchronized DC defibrillator. It allows the shock during the airways or QRS complex detector. In synchronized defibrillators, 
there are two vulnerable zones in a normal cardiac cycle they are t wave and u wave segment suppose if the counter shock falls in the u wave segment means then the atrial fibrillation is produced otherwise if the counter shocks in fall, falls in t wave segment means then the ventricular fibrillation is developed here the trap ecg waveform from the patient is amplified then the following block diagram shows the dc defibrillator with the synchronizer that means patients with a sudden cardiac arrest can be treated using a defibrillator and a cured by the treatment given immediately therefore this type of defibrillator is preferred in cardiac emergencies next one is square wave defibrillator here silicon controlled rectifiers short form scr were used in the square wave defibrillators here the capacitors are discharged through the patient by tuning on scr when sufficient energy has been delivered to the patient scr short circuit the capacitor and transmit the pulse that means then the output can be controlled by varying the capacitor voltage so therefore a small peak current is obtained due to a small current no side effects will be caused next one is double square wave defibrillator it is used normally after the open heart surgery in double square pulse defibrillator only 8 to 60 volt of double pulse is applied with energy of 2.4 watt second that means it is a complete defibrillation can be obtained by means of selecting proper pulse space ratio it is very efficient and quick recovery of heart to beat in the normal manner without any side effect also you can able to use low voltage pulse and simple per circuits used in digital pacemaker circuits the next one is biphasic dc defibrillator that means it is similar to the double pulse defibrillator it deliver the dc square pulse alternatively in opposite directions so it is more efficient for defibrillation of the ventricular muscles thank you